Majesty's Pride. Chapter 4 Majesty. I dropped my food on the sidewalk and ran up and down the block screaming for Birdie. It didn't dawn on me what happened until I looked across the street and saw a stuffed rat sitting in a window. Macho had been right. The hunter was testing me. He knew what I was and wanted me to reveal myself. Instead of giving in to him, I shrugged and picked my bag up. I hoped that he was watching me and assumed that I didn't care. Other wishes had told me to never let a hunter see me panic. We had to keep our cool in order to keep our power. I wasn't an official member of the Mid-Atlantic Coven, but they shared knowledge with unaffiliated witches. I picked inside my bag to make sure none of my food spilled out. It was fine, so I mounted my bike and rode home. Tears burned my eyes, but I fought them back to keep from crashing. The sun was still loud and bright. The last thing I needed in addition to a broken heart was a broken bone. The other cats were all waiting in the front windows of my house. I didn't even need to tell them what happened when I got inside. Macho hissed at me. Told you so. So what's the plan? Isis, a black American short hair, glared at me from the windowsill. Why didn't you just beat him up? Hey now, Osiris said. She can't just go around revealing herself to hunters. That would have been reckless. Isis scoffed. Whatever, British. Recklessness is very American. Right, Seance? Seance gasped. Of course I'm not. I might break a claw or mess up my fur. Femme, my main coon, strolled over to Taro. She whispered something in his ear, and his fur stood up. Femme looked at me in the eyes and said, We must invoke the power of Panthera Leo.